Is a fully electric Ford Bronco coming to the market? I got a theory on that and let's look at the evidence. Ford had a presentation this week called Capital Markets Day and they unveiled their strategy for electric vehicles moving forward into the near future. And one of the most important things that they unveiled was the fact that Ford is going to have two new EV platforms that they're bringing to market. These are brand new platforms. That's the first bit of evidence. So let's continue here. And for those of you that have been saying that Ford is gonna go fully electric by 2030, that's not actually correct. Ford clarified that in their uh, press release in their Capital Markets Day. In fact, on the Ford website, they're saying they expect 40% of Ford global vehicle volume to be all electric by 2030. And they have announced they are raising their electrification spending to $30 billion by 2025. So previously it was going to be $22 billion, so they added $8 billion of electric spending on top of that. So we're sort of adding up the pieces that are going to make up Ford's electrification plans over the next couple of years. And a day after the F-150 Lightning launch, Ford announced the F-150 Pro, which is designed for commercial customers. So this whole new Pro division or initiative, whatever you want to call it, this is designed to uh, work with commercial vehicle owners. So, and this is of course focused, I think primarily on electrics. So the Pro line is sort of an integration around things that business customers are gonna care about, sales, financing, service, all this kind of stuff. And they're sort of bringing it under one umbrella under this electrification uh, category. So interestingly enough, the Pro starts at the same price, $40,000 that the F-150, the regular Lightning, starts at as well. And by the way, all F-150 Lightnings are gonna be uh, four by fours, and they are targeting 426 horsepower for this. So let's continue this little investigation here to get over to the Bronco. So over here on Twitter, this is from Mike Levine. Mike is the product communications manager for North America. I think that's his title, but I'm sorry if I butchered that. And he is saying that, yes, we will fully electrify the Explorer, the Ford Explorer, and uh, deliver 40% of our lineup as uh, fully electric vehicles by 2030. We will continue playing to our strengths and electrify our icons and high volume segments that we dominate today. We'll share details later. So they're talking about electrifying their icons. Of course, they started with the Mustang Mach-E, now we've got the F-150, and now we're talking about the Explorer going fully electric. These are their icons, and this is a really, this is a pretty big move for Ford when you think about it. So Ford is going ahead and electrifying its icons, which is a pretty big deal. We started with the, the Mustang Mach-E, even though I really don't call it a Mustang, I just call it the Mach-E. I have a problem with it being a Mustang, but whatever that perhaps that's my problem but now we've got the f-150 which of course is the the biggest selling pickup in all the land and perhaps the biggest selling vehicle in north america right now and then and then we've got the fully electric explorer so pretty big selling uh suv as well in europe ford is going all electric by 2030 in fact they are working with vw on a platform it's the meb platform that vw has and Ford is going to be building cars based on that platform in Europe. I'm over here at Autocar, which is a uh, UK-based automotive publication, and they're saying Ford will use Volkswagen Group's MEB electric car platform for a European-built compact EV launching in 2023, and our first sighting confirms take the form of a compact SUV. If you want to keep on top of Ford news and other industry news, please go ahead and subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I just did a video review on the Bronco Sport. I'm going to link that over here. Awesome vehicle. I really liked the video the way it came out too, so go check that out. But what is most significant is these set of photos here from Mike Levine's Twitter. This is the Chief Product Platform and Operations Officer at Ford, Hao Tai Tang. Sorry if I mispronounced that. And we can see here there are three different electric vehicles that he is standing in front of at this presentation. And this looks to be like, uh, like a transit sort of cargo van. Looks like we've got a compact style pickup truck here. This is probably not the F-150, but then here I think is what we've got is sort of the most compelling piece of evidence for a fully electric Ford Bronco. 
and that is this. This, to me, looks an awful lot like a Ford Bronco. We've got this pretty unique roof line, although it's kind of coming up in the back. It's not quite flat like the current Bronco is. Uh, we can see the nose is sort of Bronco-like, but the rear comes down very sharply too, and we've clearly got a tire on the back of the vehicle here, a spare tire too. So if you want more compelling proof that Ford is coming out with an electric EV, I don't think you're going to find it, but this event that Ford had this week is pretty telling. So here's my big question. We know we've got two separate uh, EV platforms coming out from Ford in the next couple of years, by 2025 actually. They're going to have vehicles available to in the market by that point. So here's my big question. Is this, and this looks to be a fully electric uh, vehicle, I think, is Ford going to bring us a completely, is, is Ford going to bring this Bronco EV on this brand new platform? Or are they going to do something on the existing platform which we have now, which is upcoming Ranger based? Uh, here's my supposition. I think that we're going to have the a hybrid Bronco coming out on the current platform. And I think this might be a full EV Bronco on this new platform in 2025. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. A lot of it is going to be predicated on how well the F-150 Lightning does in terms of sales. I read that they have a huge number of pre-orders now. I think it is up to, let's check out how many pre-orders they have. According to Emma Berg, who is Ford's EV Global Communications Manager, she says that uh, 70,000 reservations for the F-150 150 Lightning since the reveal. Now Tesla claims that they have close to a million pre-orders on the Cybertruck. So the big question for me is who's the market for the Cybertruck versus the F-150? We know that the traditional F-150 uh, purchasers, a lot of them are going to be in rural areas in the Midwest, they're going to be on farms, they're going to be for work vehicles. I'm wondering if that group of buyers who is used to ordering ordering from Ford and GM and from Dodge, if they're really going to be ordering a Tesla. I don't think so. Anyways, let me know down below in the comments your thoughts on this. Let me know if you think I'm accurate on this Bronco Electric. And my name is Eric and I will see you in the next video.